Hello and good morning at the Zeiss Academy for Metrology. My name is Klaus Schabel and today I want to tell you something about basic information about our uh, basic training. The official uh, title of this training is Zeiss Calypso Basic Refresher. Yeah, the main things we want to speak about today in our basic refresher training, um, how to create datums, how to create an alignment and what are the main important things. Um, we want to speak about the definition of the features, what is a local or the element alignment. Uh, we want to speak about travel paths and the main information behind and about constructions and characteristics. And this I also want to show you now. I have the cylinder, so I have create one. Those cylinder here. And the primary datum should be the cylinder in the middle. And here it's defined standard. That means the tolerance soon is a cylinder, so we need the the diameter diameter symbol in front of the tolerance. That was the first case. But now we don't have it. We have two parallel planes. So we have to change here from standard to Cartesian calculation. And now you see directly there is no result. And the second datum, how to say, is opened now. We can, is open. We can define something before. Look. Uh, we don't need it. But now we need a second one. And in this case, it was the plane on the top. So and now it depends on what we want to bring out. We want to bring out the, the parallel way. That means parallel to the, and let me think about it was point moment it was point one in this case yeah that's the parallel calculation that means to the here local alignment parallel in this direction there will be two planes at which distance point one millimeter apart and if we need this distance point two maybe you remember can show you again yeah the point two, it's in this direction. Yeah, it has to be perpendicular to the data. Yeah, that's the two ways. So you can select both of them here. But if you need both, yeah, point one parallel and point two, then you have to define the parallelism also two times now. Yeah, I only copy it change the tolerance and say perpendicular to it. That's the two ways how you can use it. Then we have the C distance. Let me take the same elements again that we have uh, comparable values. Yeah, it's the cylinder two and the cylinder three. So we have here now, and that's the important thing. Here we can define the alignment. In our case, the base alignment, and you see if I have other alignments, I can also select them here. I can change them. And now, the, how to say the datums are clearly defined. So that means also the, the, the projection planes of the alignment are defined now. Here I have the same elements like before. I can here change from center to center, here also from cat entities or measured feature and so on. If it makes sense from center to center, you see only cat entities make sense. If I use maximum, then also measured points can be used. Now I have a symmetry according to the ISO standard, which is defined 
that means here it's in the direction of the dimension line that means the theoretical point in the middle is defined and it has to be symmetrical to the datum d and maybe b yeah means to the middle to the center and here is our report and if we need some further information for example if we have some form plots inside we can here switch uh, in the settings to detailed and then we have for example here for flatness roundness detailed views and if we select it with the left mouse we get directly a big view only one page uh, with a form plot on it perfect yeah, and if we measure it, and if it's like in my case that it was in the background, if I want to see it again, you can go here to view multiple report yeah, to open it again. <laughs>